Hi, in this segment, I'm going to compare integer type with unsigned integer type using an if statement. I would like to show to you some subtle behavior, um, which may not be that clear at the beginning. Okay, so uh, I, I prepared a simple demo program, right? Um, I have two functions, I call it demo one and demo two, and I will walk uh, you the important difference between these two um, functions in terms of how we are treating uh, integer and the unsigned integer during a comparison, okay? So let's take the first demo one. I is set to minus three, u is set to two. We are asking whether u greater than i. Our gut feeling says, yeah, two is greater than minus three. Therefore, the program should return one for the, uh, the function should return one to the caller, okay? So let's look at the disassembly of um, demo one. Okay, so we can easily map now. Minus three is um, F, 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 all of the Fs and then and the end of the D. And then we have a two, okay? So our local variables are part of the stack. So that's the reason why you're seeing these two statements. And then um, we are making a comparison operation, right? Um, because we are comparing it here. So that comparison operation is over here. Uh, what is important to note is that um, the comparison operator is followed by set G, which means greater than, okay? What it means is that if this value, um, the right-hand side EAX value is greater than EBB minus eight, what is EAX? We need to find out what is EAX. EAX is nothing but EBB minus four. What is EBB minus four, uh, which is nothing but two. Okay, so EAX has the value two here and we are comparing against EBB minus eight which is nothing but minus three, okay? So what we are doing is basically we are comparing at this point, what is the value of EAX? EAX is nothing but two, right? And uh, this is nothing but minus three, right? So we are comparing two with minus three. The next statement is basically checking whether, uh, did the comparison operator set the necessary flags, okay? Um, basically, um, we can imagine uh, comparison operator is comparing two with minus three. Okay, is two greater than minus three? So yeah, the answer is yes. So the the set G will set the um, the AL AL byte to one. Okay, because two is greater than minus three. And comparison operator would set certain flags so that the set G can be enabled. Okay, meaning set G will set the value one as part of the EAX register. So um, here is your EAX register and the AL is the lower eight bits, right? Here it will set the value to one. We talked about um, how to access e e e AL, um, AH, EAX and so on. But at this point it's enough to just say the lower portion of uh, EAX is, is set to one. And then the next instructions is basically transferring that a, uh, one value into the AX and then put everywhere else a zero in the front, right? That's the meaning of the, the zero byte copy, right? What it means is that your byte one is copied to AX and then uh, the remaining three leading bytes are all set to zero, okay? So basically that's the reason uh, you need a move ZBL. Okay, so we are convinced in this case that the program will return a one because we know for sure two is greater than minus three, okay? And now let's clear this thing and then try to debug the demo two version now, okay? Very quickly, we can also do this uh, breakpoint. Let me put a breakpoint first on this demo one. Convince ourselves that the return value is one, okay? So I'm going to run this and I'm going to print the EAX value to show to you that EAX has just value one. Yeah, you see here, one. Okay, so uh, we can clear this. And now let's disassemble um, demo two, which is hopefully interesting. Um, in comparison to demo two with demo one, let's compare it quickly. In terms of assembly, um, so far, well, there is a difference. The difference is here. Demo two has set above, demo one has set G, okay? Which is interesting. The only difference is set A as opposed to set G. The reason why we are using set A is that um, here we are, our program has declared U as a unsigned integer, okay? So when you're comparing an unsigned integer with a regular integer, 
the comparison operation is going to be unsigned okay it will automatically treat your i as unsigned that's the reason why we are using a set a as we can see in the assembly code it's set a so our i is no longer minus 3 instead our i is a very large um, number because uh, we don't treat the most significant bit as one anymore right so in that case um, we are comparing two with a very very large number which means uh, two is not greater than that large number so the answer will be zero and we can convince ourselves that is the case let me um, uh, run this thing in a debugger mode right and, and put a breakpoint here <clears throat> to show to you that the return value is zero okay yeah, you see here the return value is zero because two, two is not greater than a large number, right? Minus three means yeah, uh, F, 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 all the way, all the Fs, right? And then it ends with a D, that's minus, minus three. If you treat the most significant bit as unsigned, this is an enormous number. It's like a maximum value almost, like an into, U into max kind of thing, very close to that, okay? So obviously two is not greater than that. Therefore, this expression will be as, as zero. That's the reason why we are seeing zero here, okay? So keep in mind that when you're comparing an unsigned integer with a two's complement integer, the runtime environment will treat your two's complement integer, the, the signed integer i, also as unsigned, okay? That is the reason why this program is returning zero here and it correctly returns a, a one here, okay? So hopefully that is clear. The most important thing is uh, to, to recall the, the minute differences between those, these two functions, right? Let's uh, make sure that we summarize it. So in the case of comparing an unsigned with a regular two's complement int, the runtime environment is using set A instruction, which is comparing two things without taking the sign into account, right? It's both unsigned. And if you look at the demo one, this is signed comparison. That's the reason why we are saying, we are saying set G, okay? All right, I hope this is clear. 